Yeah, we should do bandit because someone was asking for bandit tips and something. Show how to play a good bandit run. I think we played bandit recently, but let's do it. Okay. And devil because of the alt bandit skin. It's actually uber fun. Yeah. I went through and played it. Yeah, maybe it was a year ago now, but man, it was good. It makes me excited for other things that Hopu makes or whatever. Or when they do something else past uh, Risk of Rain Returns. They have good ideas. That's an interesting game. It's unique. It reminds me of like uh, Hotline Miami in a, just a different perspective. Instead of top down 2D, it's a uh, side scroller 2D. This is fun. Nice. Elephant. I like the elephant. It's a little cutie. The good old days, dude. What's this thing right here? Is that a cloak chest? Yes, it is. Predatory, not crazy about, but hey. Ooh, nice. I uh, can. Oh, the wisp is here. I can't. See me. <laughs> we have the other pot in a really good spot, so I was like, maybe we can just go for this one real quick, but. That was tough anyway. Gasoline doesn't doesn't grit, but with bandit it can crit. Is that true? So because gasoline is not a proc coefficient, it can't crit. But there was some change or something during the DLC where it made gasoline in particular able to crit in a way. I don't remember what it was. It's been too long. But it was one of like the weird standout things where we noticed it and we were like, hmm. Interesting. I didn't really look into it though any further than that, but it's the only thing I think in its category of no proc coefficient attack that seems to crit for some reason. Alright, let's go roll pots and get stuff. Let's see what we got. What am I doing? Do I want Tentabobble? I'll think about it. Hey, you know. We're gonna make a lot of use out of the Scrapper. Man, I love Lysate, by the way. Unbanned it. Lysate doesn't always do a ton all the time, but man, when it works... It fucking works. Are they ATGs? Well, we got Bandolier, which is good enough for a Clover. Uh, we got two fucking gold altars. 1776, brother. The fucking, the gold of freedom. Nice. Um, there's still a lot of stuff to get, but we can just get it after. I think we have enough money. Uh, science in the middle of the woods can be spooky. There's something like... Like how some people are afraid of the ocean. Like some instinctual fear. I have that with the woods. <laughs> oh, thanks. I think one of my, my greatest fears is waking up in the woods alone and it's night. <laughs> That's fine. I'm actually going to go to Bando as much as I actually like it with the clover here, but... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. That's good. Yeah, let's get out of here. Nice stage, honestly. Maybe we can get something else in the uh, in the portal here. Um, uh, five stops for potential two cradles and zero items in the open cave. I mean, that's all right though, because the the map gets credit. It's not just the cave. So fortunately, you still get paid. Still got paid for it though. Dude, two lunar pods I just saw. Hell yeah, give me these. Yoink. I love it. Three lunar pods that I'm seeing with my eyes. Bro, don't do that. That's a, that's a big 75 credit reduction chat room. That's a lot. Yike, that's two TC drones that we just saw on the stage, essentially, for us. 
Are the Sage for legendary chests drawn from the credits? No. Only a legendary chest that spawns in apart from that one will reduce the credit costs. Can we get a cleansing pool? Yeah, true. At least we have the cave though. Cave gives us a lot of extra credits we can use. I don't like seeing more friends like that though. Obscure fact that no one knows about this game. All right, I have one. That's pretty obscure, actually. If you have Dio's and Happy Mask and you get the Dio's back and Mithric still has the Happy Mask and he kills you, he could summon a ghost of your body and then you can revive and have to fight yourself. That situation is so like obscure that it's, it's probably not gonna happen like anybody. Because you have to get items back for it to work, but just not that one. And then have him kill you and then proc like the what, the 15-7% chance? I don't remember what it was. He can also uh, use Happy Mask to kill your turrets on NG and then summon ghost turrets. Dude, these fucking imps right now. Nice. There's a lot of Lemurians, dude. <laughs> Blep. I mean, I was thinking they teach you, but if we can get a card, that's an added Reckler there, so I'll take more bleed too. Deathmark is slowly approaching. Not covers and alien heads, you can fight an MS army of NG turrets. That is true. It is absolutely true. Uh, some there's some funny things with that, honestly. That people would be surprised about. We have um, really good loot this run. We also have a gamer shell. Oh, kick flip the drone. <laughs> Goodbye. You can actually kill him that way too. Devil Mountain Shrine, huh? Surely we'll get uh, some worm or something. Surely, surely. Yo. Eh. Alright, don't kill me. Glacial Imp Overlord, huh? Let's kill this one first, then we'll go after Dad. Do I even want a Shatter Swing? <laughs> like, I'll take it, but... Pretty good. Fancy my favorite character since back when I was playing on console. God, how did I ever play on console? Well, you made it through, my friend. You made it through the trenches. Congratulations. That quail that I'm looking at? Oh my god. Dude. Did we see a Scrapper? Let's hit two quails for now. These quails are a curse. All right, let's um actually let's play the gamer chest first. If we do find a card in there, like that's just like early or something, we could get a lot of stuff. I'll take speed. Hmm. Get our ATG and our um. I guess we'll take the U up top. Actually, I don't need another. Nice. Alright, Curse of the Coils begins. What's your favorite equipment as it's saved by the profile in the game? Mine is the Foreign Fruit because I used it heaps when I first started. Everyone else, I think, but you in chat knows what my favorite equipment is, I imagine. <laughs> oh, there it is. My son. Hello. Ew. If this is crap of the stage, I'd really very much appreciate it. Since we have 10 billion coils with a uh, harpoon. Uh, do I want another deal? I think that's kind of fucking, like, greedy. We don't need it. But I would hate to throw away an extra life for an HS. <laughs> At the same time, just the principle of it. If I get a feather this stage, I'll just reroll it. If I don't, I might take it. That's the big decider, I guess. Hmm. A gun, you say? Well, well, well. Let's go over here. Let's put it in the spot so we can reroll the crowdfunder again. With magic. Shurikens. Ugh. I'm gonna reroll for a feather because we don't need the shurikens. Dole. I'm good. Let's do bonfire. No. I'm at the point where I'm starting to do. Just not do bonfire at all. I'm getting a lot better with the uh, the new umbral. But that being said, it's gonna be tough with the uh, the coils, man. Another gun. That's beautiful. That's exactly what we wanted to see. I have the pillars, but I don't even care really. My speed. Thank you. A lot of recovery runs, which are rare. Yeah. If there's like a run where I'm just like, damn, I really want to see if this is like possible, we'll do it. But and we can always like in the future really up the stats on umbral, right? Like we can go in here and just turn all of these the max and just see like can we do it can we beat 
umbral <laughs> in that kind of situation. But for now, I really want to get good at uh, speeding as is. That sucks. I think we're... I'll take it right now. If I were roll it into a safer spaces, that'd be cool. This is just gonna wrap the site, no matter what it is, right? No. Um, I guess I'll take it. There's some reason not to. Um, uh, let's use our gun. Actually, let's let me use this. Greater wisp. Okay. I was hoping it'd be like a boss or something. Yep. Not what I was really hoping for. All right, we're just gonna have to teleport and hope we get two bosses, I guess. Triple coils put in work, dude. I don't like it. I don't know what's gonna happen during pizza, but it's gonna be something. Okay, cool. We did get two bosses. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're good. Alrighty. Let me just go pick up just like real quick. Well, I mean, is your nemesis? I don't know. Mythrix, probably. Because Umbral's the thing that kills me 99% of the time if I die. It's pretty rare that I die from other stuff. Let me get a Bando. Okay. Well, I almost picked it up on accident with the Quail. Rerolling mid tier boss items is best to get Duke. Oh, wait, I didn't reroll the Blast Shower. I was waiting to reroll the Blast Shower to see if I got a, um, a Saver Spaces. Nice. Right before teleport and we should go up there and reroll just to make sure. Not the other Lemurians. Oh, Lemurians aren't scary. I probably died to maybe one or two of them in the last year. It's been a long time. Last week. One was recent, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, let me reroll the thing. I think that's why it surprised me so much though, because like... I don't know, I don't give enough credit anymore. When you don't die for something for so long, sometimes you need to forget. Floating barrels and RPD. Bold nemesis. There still is stuff to reroll. I'm gonna just pick it up. I guess. Be cool. BG, huh? Because they multiple Templars, you should try to get close to them, but if there's two, it's harder. Walk away. Just like the, uh, the Chimera Wisps on the moon. I think Templars are just like a good precursor enemy to what those are, but you just take cover. Let them walk to you, use the corners. Oh, dude, we have a scrap for the whole time. I didn't know. Suns also help, but while we're waiting for the last one to be rerolled, let's scrap a bit. Rip quails? Yeah. Actually, rip quails. That's 10. Um, maybe that's fine enough. We're doing pillars, so I'm gonna keep sun grenade, actually. I don't really need the AoE. Well, let's go reroll real quick. Harpoon, we still have 10, so let's be careful. Probably will get rid of Harpoon, though. Either way, regardless. Whatever. That's really nice. Okay, we have like 8 speed items here, which isn't bad. Not quite as enough movement speed isn't like 1 or 2 good. Yeah, but we had 3, and to me it just makes it harder to uh, get out of the way. I just don't really like quails that much these days. Feels like in Umbral specifically, they mess me up a lot more than I'd want. So we could get rid of Ignition Tank. The gome. And that would be 13. I, we could get rid of the the ukuleles, honestly. Kind of like having ukes for the orbs mid-fight, honestly. I think that helps me out a lot. What we will do, though, is we can get rid of these and these regardless. And if there is such a good red that we absolutely need to make a roll for it, maybe we will. But we probably won't, because we'll lose an ATG in bands, So, uh, Not a lot of white scrap either. Oh, you! Okay, well. Stone aids? No, I want to keep them. We have clover and we're doing uh, pillars, so it will make them very nice. Now we're taking the uh, the elephant. Ready to go. I'm surprised. We just don't really have a lot of uh, white scrap to get rid of. Most of it's just good in the build. Bandelier. I could reroll one of those. Let's gamble one time. One singular time. You get a feather? That'd be cool. If not, then whatever, I guess. Alright, that's cool. We'll keep it. Positive roll. We have two extra lives. The only way I feel like I could lose is if I die in phase four. Which I did last time, actually. It was definitely possible. 
one stack earned. I mean, dude, this is such a... Should be an easier run. Phase 3 might be a little bit tricky. Because uh, of the feather situation, but try to make it work. How do we stack? Maybe like to 30 or 40 or something. We have to do pillars anyway, so we're here for a little bit. May as well make the most of it. You want to stay here because there's a lot of perfected roaming around. Bungie feather. Oh, we're chilling. We are absolutely chilling. Do you possibly have scale Umbral health skill in the Desperado stack? Damage one shot him. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, he uh, he scales with normal Mythrix damage, and you can always, always outscale normal Mythrix with uh, Desperado stacks and items and whatever else. You know, I could sit here for like two hours and go up there and still be fine. I think that's what people don't really get with this kind of character. And you have infinite scaling, and it multiplies by all of your items, which makes that infinite scaling just exponentially more powerful. It gets crazy. Brain sucks. Whip. Well, nothing is going to stop me from doing this, so. Uh, a bear cauldron is actually not bad. Back and back might be better. I don't know. Having some chance to block stuff is kind of nice. But being able to stay above Mythrix is also good. Looks like Brain Socks is the only one we have also, which I guess is fine. I might just go Bears. I think that uh, the back of Mags might end up be being... might end up being better, but... This will be kind of nice here. Did you not steal my kill? I have the effect of Brain Socks turned off, by the way, so the screen doesn't turn completely red, if you're curious. I know someone's gonna ask. Alright, we have enough stacks, let's just go. What do you think of equals bracket? Yeah, that's uh, the worst iteration of smile on the internet. Alright, we have enough stacks, let's just go. The long don't give a smile a nose, dude. They're not meant to have noses, they're not meant to smell canonically. This is a pretty good run, so. Everything we need. And absolutely do not put a space in between the eyes and the nose, and a space between the nose and the mouth. Absolutely do not do that. Thank god for... Uh, ukulele here. We need to be careful with the Tensa Bobble. Actually, and keep turning like that. <laughs> oh. Oh my fucking... No bands here. Let's wait a second. Oh no! I got hit by an orb. Oh, that shit sucks, man. To the ends of the earth. If I die here in phase three, it's gonna take so long. Don't get hit by pizza. Smile.
I almost want to die on purpose to get rid of one Dio, so I have a little bit of a cushion for phase four. Did I block that? I think it did. I'm not going to, though. We're going all in. Let's pretend I picked it up, because I gave myself an extra trophy the other day. Yay, I have a trophy in my inventory. Man, I got hit by the orb phase too, but it was a pretty good fight. A little sloppy. I was greeting a little bit more damage than I should have. I was like trying to see if I could one-shot phase two. Not bad.